Hey guys, so I'm back from a video today and well, it's been definitely a while. Today I am doing gosh makeup. This is how it turned out. So if you like it, then keep on watching. So first I am using concealer. I'm just dotting it around my blemishes. Then I'm blending it all out. Next is the foundation. I'm using the BB cream. It's like a four in one. And this is a prime example as to why you should shake your foundation. Because the water or whatever mixed and no colour came out. So next just blend that all in. As you can see this is quite a dewy foundation. I look really oily so if you're oily I'm not sure if you would like this or if you do have it just make sure you really really powder because once I powdered like you can see here it goes away. This is when you learn to not powder with a brush and to use a sponge because it packs on a lot more better. Our next I do it on the jaw because to get a sharp contour line. Next, I bronze, and don't forget to show you what I bronze with. It's the Gosh like, 4 in 1 palette. It has like blush, highlight, and then two bronzer shades. So I just bronze, 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 bronze. Next is the Gosh eyebrow pencil. So I just fill in my brows. Next is the Eyebrow Defining Gel. It's quite a light gel. It doesn't feel there's anything on your brows. It doesn't sit rock hard like some brow gels, like Benefits Brow Gel. It's quite a light one, but it still holds your brows in place all day. Next, let's remove that powder as you can see it highlights and mattifies compared to how it was at the beginning of the video when I was really oily and shiny it, powder is quite good it makes a big difference so next is eyeliner it's quite a thin felt tip pen I'm not really a big fan of it though it takes quite a while it's quite thin so you have to build it up for a bit shaking it because it's one of them that you've got to get lots of product out so it doesn't come out first time. Next we go back in with that contour palette and we use a highlight colour, there's only one colour because the other one's blush, it's like a gold colour, 
it's not as pigmented as I was like you do have to kind of pack it on and keep going back in to get a sparkly face it's quite if you like subtle highlights this one will probably be good for you next is this massive ass mascara one, probably the biggest ones I've had <laughs> but the brush is not as fat as Revlon's one Next we go in with the lip pencil that I basically dropped. I haven't actually tried any of the lipsticks, but in terms of lip liners, it's really good. It lasts long and it's pigmented. And there you go, that's the end. <laughs> 